I really need to invest in a better camera if I'm going to keep on doing this YouTube thing, huh? I uh, was going to bring out the iPad. I think that's a little bit better, but right now I'm just shooting off my phone. Um, I also did want to show you guys, um, before the show, I picked up this beautiful pipe from Hux Pipes. He does some amazing work. Really don't see too many pipes like this. Um, and he's just got his own look, I feel like. Um, he's got like the antler here and this paneled deal. I am so amazed no one picked up this pipe. It was for sale for so long on his Instagram page. And um, he just kept on lowering the price and lowering the price. And I finally snagged it. Um, it's just such a beautiful pipe and with it being so thick and huge um, Dude, it, it just smokes like a freight train. It's a really 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 nice pipe Yeah, beautiful pipe So Chicago 2019 um, I didn't get to go last year um, I, I can't remember whether it was just money or something I think it was money because it, it's pretty pricey and um, you know I gotta save up and almost even driving from Ohio it's almost about 300 bucks in this thing in the Wrangler and uh, I mean that doesn't leave you much for pipes and tobacco on my salary you know but you know the most important part was going out and seeing the guys hanging out with them and catching up since I missed the year before um but either way this is actually i was thinking it was my second but it's actually my third year um so i'm incredibly happy um that i got to go this year so might have to hold off again on next year um just a lot of stuff going on with the new house uh new life just stuff going on um so we'll see if not hopefully the guys um we can come out here shoot some guns live a little or we'll all go meet up in indiana or something um but we'll see what happens um this year was really really awesome um i didn't get to probably buy as much as i did the first couple years like again short on cash but i got to find the pipe i've been looking for for so long so one of my favorite classic shapes of a pipe is a bing crosby pipe and one day i saw one for a great price it was like 75 bucks i said you know what i'll come back if it's if i really like it sure enough i came back like a day later and it was gone and i've been kicking myself ever since and it was a true real bing crosby pipe you know i had the vc on the the metal band and it was just a gorgeous gorgeous pipe so every time i go i try to find someone who has one just like it or um comes to comparison if not the real thing um so far everyone wanted an arm and a leg three to five hundred dollars for a pipe sorry that's that's out of my price range Sorry about that. Found another lighter. <laughs> um, so, Friday, the trading day, there's a couple of people selling estate pipes and actual pipe makers. I saw Ian Barnes hung out with him for a little bit and uh, saw Hector. So that was nice. And um, then I walked by, I was just glancing. I was like, come on, the big show's tomorrow. I'll, I'll find something there that I really like. And um, sure enough, I just happened to glance by and I fell in love. I was like, oh my God, that's it. That has to be the pipe I really want. And um, I was really nervous that um, it was going to be way out of my price range. Sure enough, 
totally it's it's about like max what i pay for a good pipe um and it was right in my price range guy's name is sean condor pipes i've never heard of him but sure enough he he said he just kind of makes a few um maybe like once a month as a hobby and uh i'll show it to you guys now granted i smoked it already a couple times so it's not going to be all clean and polishy as the first day but there it is it's massive bing crosby shape Beautiful, beautiful green on it. Smokes really well. Uh, made in an English pipe. And uh, I was really, really happy the way it smoked. So, um, in the bag, I don't know how it was me. But he also had like a, a coupon as... It was like, hey, 30% off, it, um, I'll make you a pipe. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I looked at the rest of those pipes. It makes gorgeous pipes, and they're all reasonably priced. You know, I have been searching for a Bing Crosby-shaped pipe for so long, and they've all wanted like three, $500, and this is the closest I can find. To the the original shape now it has changed a little bit put a bigger um, tail on that like almost like a fish tail but the button work is awesome he just makes a gorgeous gorgeous pipe beautiful pipe and uh, Saturday You know, hung out all day, had some fun. Damn near spent all my money, but I had a little bit left. And then I ran into um, Jesse Jones Pipes. And I've been meaning to go check him out for the longest time because he's actually here from Ohio. And uh, we actually know some mutual friends. So we were talking for quite a while and I was looking at his pipes, gorgeous pipes again. Beautiful, beautiful pipes. And uh, I was like, man, out of my price range. Maybe some other day. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll save up for one of his pipes, maybe. And then he showed me his, his, his factory line pipes. All gorgeous, all really well done. And I actually ended up picking one, one of them up. Another shape I really love. The Canadian. But this is like a pocket size Canadian. So Blue Room Briars. Really, really well priced. 90 bucks. Um, I ended up making it a uh, Virginia pipe. And uh, sure enough, smokes really damn well. Um, I thought he did an incredible job on those. I just, I just love Canadians. I, I was on a huge billiard kick for the longest time, but I've got all sorts of shapes. But I was really happy about that. So that didn't leave me much for uh, buying tobacco or anything. From what I saw, all the stuff, I'm like. People are, you know, selling seven, eight-year-old stuff. A lot of McClellan. It was like a hundred bucks, and I'm like, I'm not spending a hundred bucks on tobacco. I'll buy, you know, other stuff and agent myself, you know. So, um, sure. Luckily, I have quite a bit of McClellan um, in my house. So just saving that for a rainy day, I suppose. Um, but I was trying to find some 965 for a friend of mine, and. I couldn't find any at all. So I ended up getting some Island Rise. A couple of people told me 
this was pretty close and I think it was like seven bucks a pouch or something like that. So I figured, hey, what the hell, give it a try. Uh, bought two, one for myself and one for my friend. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm hoping good things. So we'll see about that. But other than that, um, if you haven't made it out to Chicago, do it. Um, you'll have a good time. Um, everyone's pretty, pretty nice. I met a lot of people just, I'm kind of like an anti-social guy myself. I usually keep to myself and there was a few people who approached me and just shot the shit. And then I didn't really feel out of my comfort zone. You know, we all had something to talk about and excited about, you know, one guy was, you know, came up to me. He's like, Hey, I just spent like, you know, this and this and this. And I was like, Oh wow, that's a lot of money. He's been showing me some gorgeous pipes, like two pipes that were about 500 bucks each i'm like man that's pretty cool but he wasn't being a dick about it you know and then i ended up meeting another guy and i was like the same way the first year one i was like going pipe crazy and i wanted to buy everything so i ended up buying like four or five pipes my first year but they were all like low-end um pipes and he ended up buying like three or four pipes on like 30 40 50 dollar range i was like dude that's awesome you know i'm like hey i have this same pipe i you know it's one of my you know go-to pipes and you know that was really cool to see you know all sorts of walks of life like from the guy who just spent you know 1200 dollars on a pipe to someone who's just starting out and you know has a 30 dollar pipe and is enjoying the same thing and that's what it's really about um and it's it's pretty cool so um, hopefully I can show you guys a little bit more around the property. I think the last video I had was um, a little bit of a walk around of the last Jeep I have. I've still got it. Haven't had time to work on it, but I've, you know, found some time to drive it and enjoy it a little bit. Um, got to get working on it here soon because I'm going to have to use it as a farm truck. So hopefully we'll find some time to walk around and uh, get out there today and show you the Jeeps as well.